Being a professor for 15 years taught me a lot, and these are the most important lessons that I learned. To maintain momentum for my life story, I dropped the cap and gown for the next chapter. Hey everybody, Dr. Z here, and today we're talking about an important topic that spans all the areas of our life, and that is leadership. Inspiring others to go beyond their current self limitations and to get them to do things we need them to do. And so there's all kinds of literature out there on leadership, but it can be boiled down to three particular styles or types of leadership. And that is democratic, laissez faire, and authoritarian. So I think the most important thing to remember is that, first of all, you need to know yourself. You need to know what your strengths are, what your capabilities are as a leader, where you're comfortable, where you're not comfortable, because that will help you lead others more effectively. But the, the best leaders are very flexible. So while they know their strengths, maybe they're an, an autocratic decision maker. They're somebody that sort of can make be very decisive in the moment, especially when the going gets tough, and make those decisions that inspire people to follow them um, into the horizon. Maybe you're democratic and want to create true consensus and collaboration at all times. You're a great listener and you want to give people voice and choice. Or maybe you're a little more laissez-faire where you'll listen to folks, you provide general guidance and direction, and then you step back to allow others to begin to do some leading and solve tasks and problems on their own. It doesn't really matter what you are. What matters most is that you're flexible. And you can be situational and deploy each of those different uh, types of leadership styles in different settings. And if you think about it, leadership really boils down to one thing, and that's decision making. Either you making decisions on behalf of others or you empowering others to make decisions for themselves. Again, the best leaders are very clear about the types of decisions they're making and the process they, they want to follow while making those decisions. So there's a lot of tools or acronyms out there you can follow for to help clarify decision making when you're trying to be an effective leader. Uh, one that I personally like is Farci, F-A-R-C-I, and that goes from informing someone about a decision that's made to consulting them, to asking them for a recommendation, to actually making them a decider or an authority, or making them the final decider where they have full authority over a decision. So great leaders truly inspire others to get things done, uh, take action. They help others feel empowered and achieve things. And nine times out of 10, that boils down to decision making, not just who has the authority to make what types of decisions, but also thinking through and then communicating about the decision making process. So are you more laissez faire, autocratic or democratic? And are you able to flex your style depending on the situation? All of those things will help you make you a better leader. Have a great day.